which firms are the best? <laughs> um, you know, it's always an interesting question. I would say, hey, I'm on all these rosters and they all put me on standby at the same time, right? What do I do? So if you get put on standby, if Paysetter sends you a text and say, yes or no, do you want to be on standby for a barrel? And then you get that same text from Pilot, Alacrity, Crawford, Sedgwick, whoever else, right? Say yes to all those, right? The key to this, this sort of like, the way this goes down is you can say yes to all the, the standby things. And then the first one that calls you, Pilot calls you and they say, hey, listen, you know, we're, we're ready to go. If you're ready to go, we're ready to take you say yes and then say no if anybody else reaches out to you right if pilot calls you and you are like well i really really want i'm you know I've, I've really made some good friends at these crawford events i went to and i really want to work for those guys um they got you on standby i'm going to strongly suggest that if pilot calls you first you don't tell pilot no just in case Crawford does call you, because there's a good chance that Crawford might not. There's a chance that they might, right? They might all call you. Um, but your objective on your very first storm isn't to be like working for the perfect IA firm, um, because there really isn't one. Um, the perfect IA firm for me might be hell on earth for you. Your objective on your first storm, and really your second storm, is to get reps, right? You wanna get claims handled. You wanna see that process of scheduling, inspecting, writing it up, settling, schedule, inspect, write it up, settle, just over and over and over and over and over again. Because that's the only way that you're going to be good and, and really make the kind of money that everybody talks about you, you can make doing this, right? That's your number one objective. It's not to like pick and choose. Well, I heard that, you know, Sedgwick uh, only pays W-2 and somebody on social media said that you shouldn't do that because tax and reasons and science and whatever baloney, right? Doesn't matter. Your job is to get claims in your hands. That's it, period, full stop, end of story, right? If somebody calls you to go work, it might be the only call that you get. And if you say no, because you wanted to work for somebody else, then you could be not working at all and miss the season or miss that storm, right? We don't wanna do that. Is there like a best firm? I would say that on our short list of partners, we partnered with, um, or we are currently partnered with for adjuster T for a fast track deployment, nine of the bigger firms. Um, there's some small little boutique ones in there, but, but the first four or five are like the big boys, right? So we got Pilot, Crawford, Alacrity, right? Paysetter to a lesser degree. Um, these are, uh, these are like the firms that are going to, give you the most opportunities because they have the, the biggest relationships with all states and the state farms um, and other smaller you know, insurance companies. Um, and they have national or international, right? You could go to Australia with Crawford. You can go to Puerto Rico with Pilot. You can go to Canada with Alacrity, um, you know, or, or any of them. You can do that with any of those guys. Maybe not the Australia one because Crawford's more international. You'll find, let's put it this way, you'll find which firm you kind of click with, right? And you and you. One of the ways to find that out is to go to networking events. Go to NACA. If Crawford's got an ABC one two three is of adjusting three day thing, and it's two hundred ninety nine bucks, go to it. That's going to be up to you to figure out who's the best is. It may be some little tiny firm, like a smaller firm, like you know House and Company or Custer or somebody like that. And you're like, I love those guys. They're all wearing cowboy hats at the office. You know, whatever it is, right? Um, so if they can keep you busy and you like them, and you like working with them, then that's that's the best firm for you, right? And it may take you a little while to figure that out, right? You may have some bad experiences with this firm or that firm, and it could be just personality conflict. It could be just somebody got promoted that shouldn't have been, and they're, they're your manager, and they shouldn't have been anybody's manager. That can happen at any company, and I wouldn't hold a bad, one bad experience with a firm against the firm, or carrier for that matter, because um, it could be just, you know, every, we're just human beings out here doing this stuff. And it could be that, that that particular, it's just a perfect storm of things that all kind of lined up at the same time and it made for a bad experience for you or whoever, right? Find out how you can get free access to my complete online course on how to become a highly paid independent insurance adjuster right here.